What's going on, everybody? SMS show. That's right. We got a very special edition, the NBA Championship Edition. I'm with my guy Aaron Ash, sports fanatic. What's going on, Aaron? Chilling, chilling. How you doing? Good, man. So, Aaron, you're always watching first take. You you, you like sports. Mm. You dig basketball, right? Yeah, yeah, I love basketball. That's what's up. So the NBA Finals, as you know, LeBron James, the Cleveland Cavaliers, Steph Curry, and the Golden State Warriors will face off this month. Give us some predictions, Aaron. What do you think is going to go down? So, I don't know. I think uh, basketball, when it comes down to it, is really a team sport, although one player can dominate, like LeBron. I think... uh, in the end, when you have so many good players, when you're eight or nine deep like the Warriors are, it's going to be hard for just one player to stop it, especially when your second player, best player is who knows. It might be Kyrie Irving, it might be J.R. Smith one night, it might be Tristan Thompson, whereas the Warriors have a solid, you know, five, six, seven guys who are consistent. Warriors got a deep bench, right? Yeah, Warriors have a deep bench. Strength in numbers. We've got, we've got Barbosa, we've got Harrison Barnes. We've got Spates, we've got Green, yeah. we've got Sean Livingston, mm-hmm. right? So I was reading today on one of the uh, one of the news sites that Charles Barkley, mm-hmm. you know, he's a commentator, he's an ex NBA All Star. Charles Barkley predicts that the Warriors are gonna lose it in Game Six. What are your predictions on that? What do you, what do you think? I think uh, that would be pretty amazing. That would mean that the Warriors would have to lose at least one out of three at home and then lose at least two in Cleveland, which is not going to happen. So, I mean, if LeBron, I mean, if LeBron really takes over all, all five games or, or four out of five games, four out of six games, then it could happen, but the chances of that are really low. You know, the chances that Steph has two or three good games, Clay has a good game or two, Draymond has a good game or two are a lot higher than LeBron having, you know, four great games out of six. So I don't know, and, uh, and I feel like Charles Barkley likes to hate on shooting, t- jump shooting teams and stuff like that, but the Warriors really are a defensive team. I feel like if you watch them, that's their focus, is, is playing good defense, and they just happen to have two of the best shooters ever. That's just the, you know. Yeah, I mean, Draymond, he did, he did now. great against yeah. uh, Dwight Howard. Yeah. Draymond was D in Dwight Howard, so I wonder exactly. if, if Draymond Green is gonna go toe to toe with LeBron. Who do, you think's gonna, who do you think is going to guard LeBron? Is it going to be Thompson or is it going to be Draymond Green? I mean, I think they'll both end up guarding him, really. I think they're going to th- throw everything they have at him because not one person can guard LeBron, you know. It'll probably be Iguodala is a great defender. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Iguodala. Barnes can play some good defense, too. So they're going to – they have, like, four guys who could probably match up with him. And then Mo Spates is coming back from injury. He's going to play, too, which is pretty huge. They've been missing him the last couple series. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So let, let's talk about that really quick. So the Warriors faced off against Cleveland twice this year. The first time, I think it was in Cleveland, Warriors got blown out. LeBron had like a 42-game high. But when they came here, LeBron didn't play. Yeah. And we beat Cleveland. Mm -hmm. So now Cleveland is without Kevin Love. They're without a 100% Kyrie, but an on-fire LeBron. So what's really going to (laughs) happen? Have some lighting issues. <laughs> What's gonna happen with Kyrie, Shumpert, and LeBron at the first two home games? The first two games in Oakland? You yeah, know, I think uh, they're gonna be overwhelmed by the Warriors passing the ball, shooting so well, the crowd, just just everything. I feel like it's gonna be too much, and maybe maybe LeBron takes one in in Oakland, but I, d- I doubt it's gonna be the first game. I think. Uh, I think the first game, the Warriors are probably going to take it. Awesome. Which, That's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Warriors all day. Yeah. So really quick, for all you betters out there, if anybody you know places bets on the games, I put a bet on the game. Kids, betting's bad. <laughs> but anywho, the line. Let's talk about the line on the bets. The over-under on the points is 203. And the Warriors are favored at home game one, five and a half. I'm going to tell you what I took. What do you think about that line, five and a half? Can the Warriors beat the Cavs by more than five and a half points in the first game? So as I said, I do think the Warriors are going to win, and I think they will probably beat them by by more than five and a half, just considering that the Warriors have, I think they, they win by like eight or ten points a game, eight in the playoffs, ten in the regular season, and... 
they're I think they're just going to come out really hard in this for in this first game and make a statement and then could go back and be closer games later in the series, but I think the Warriors are going to take this first one big. That's what's up. What do you think? Who do you think is going to take the NBA Finals? Game one, game two. Post your comments below, right here, SMS channel. Subscribe, don't forget. And uh, before we, you know, before we take off, I want to share with you uh, some interesting stuff I found out about some of the players. Well, Clay Thompson, really. Do you know, do you know Clay Thompson's actively dating right now? Yeah, yeah, I did actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So Clay Thomas is dating this like Instagram <laughs> famous chick yeah, named Hannah Stocking. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing is, <laughs> do you know anything about this? No, no. The interesting thing is, is he's dating Hannah Stocking. They've been dating for quite some time. But the interesting thing is, Hannah Stocking is not new to dating basketball cats. All right. She dated Kyrie Irving before she's dating. Well, now she's dating Clay Thompson. Wow, but she yeah. was dating Kyrie Irving, and now the two meet in the NBA Finals. Yeah. What a way to face off, right? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good, yeah. All right. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Aaron, for uh, taking the time. Yeah. And uh, we'll catch you next episode.